What's up guys, it's Peter Beck, and I'm one happy dude today because I had another epic haul. Um, you know, I've been telling you guys I'm not really buying cars in stores as much as I used to, like not really hunting in stores, but I am hunting online, uh, in particular for, you know, people who are selling their collections because I find that they have cool stuff and for dirt cheap and, um, you know, it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's a goal. It, it's become a whole other hunt in itself. So I'm going to get started because there's some heavyweight stuff here, man, that I, I don't even know where to start. So um, right off the bat, uh, these are all random goodies that I picked up. Got me a 73 Pontiac Firebird. I have this one. I actually picked this up a little while ago, but I had it on a long card. So now this is on the short card. And I got one that I can crack open now. So that's pretty sick got me a hot wheels honda civic si check that out and i don't have this i actually had a honda civic or i do have one but it's like a baby blue this is more like a dark blue um kind of like a spectral flame but not really but it's a dark a darker blue so that's pretty cool um ended up getting this is a popular popular casting last time i posted this i got a lot of messages people interested in this one um on facebook and stuff so i picked up another one this this one might be up for trade um but i got another ambulance van this is really really cool casting if i don't end up trading it um by all means i have no problems keeping it and uh likely cracking it open so that one's there um then i picked up a couple of tea hunts um finally got me the 57 chevy this is not the one with the real riders but it does have the plastic goodyear tires and it's on a shorty so I'll still probably want one on a long card, but I've been dying to have this one for the longest time and I got it now on a short card. So that's pretty sweet. It's just awesome, awesome casting. Really heavy too. You know, these are the kind of tea hunts that uh, toy, that, that um, Hot Wheels needs to produce nowadays, not those fantasy stuff, you know? Uh, another great tea hunt that I got from the previous, um, what is this? This is 2007. You got me the Enzo Ferrari. Check that out. They're going to stop producing Ferraris at some point. This bad boy is up there as a, as a one that's going to be highly collectible. I know there's a couple of uh, supers out there that are Ferraris, so might make a, might take a shot at getting some of those. Uh, from there, I moved on to some recent stuff. Um, he ended up having the Goldfinger car. I never got this one before, so I was happy to see it, and I picked it up. Just about everything, by the way, guys, was like about a buck, buck to buck twenty-five, and there's just two that I'll show you guys uh, later that were five bucks each. But everything else is, was a dollar. Uh, this is actually another uh, new one that's come out that I'm surprised he had. I'm not sure if he bought it off somebody else or bought it online, but we don't get ZMAX in Canada, and I got a full set already at the last swap meet, so I, I didn't mind grabbing a second one. So I got the sixty-seven uh, Mustang. And I got another Skyline as a Zamac. And um, I'm going to come back to the Skyline because I got a few of them today. And I got this old one. This is, a, this is an oldie. It's 1994. And it's a race team series. It's a Lumina Stalker. Just reminds me of what the cars used to look like in my childhood. A lot of uh, cars had this blue and Hot Wheels logo on it. And these were always my favorite ones as a kid. So I scooped this one up. And package is actually pretty mint just one soft corner over here but for an old car like this it's pretty cool it just has a little, little bit of dust on top but it's a really nice car and then uh like i said moving on to some skylines i showed you guys already got the zamac and i got a couple of other skylines uh they range from all over the place old some new highly highly sought after so i'll start off with the new one finally got me the teal colored Nissan Skyline. This bad boy looks sweet. I always see it on online, on Instagram, Facebook, and so on. And uh, they haven't really hit Canada. So this guy, again, probably got it with something with a Z-Max that he got. So that's pretty sweet. Um, then I got me another Nissan Skyline. This is an 09 from 2008, which came out in 09. I got this one loose about a month ago. I bought it loose uh, for a dollar. So now I have it carded. So that's pretty cool. And I got another one. 2007 Nissan Skyline. Reverse colors. Uh, black and gold. 
pretty nice rims for this casting. I think it suits the casting really well. I like the back. I'm not sure if you guys can pick it up, but it does say uh, Skyline, GTR, Nissan. Anything would have made it more complete is if they actually detailed the lights, but looks like a pretty cool detail on the back there. This one has actually even more detail. It has the lights, and it does say Nissan and Skyline, so that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. And then probably two of the most sought after um, Skylines you'll probably see. It's the Skyline, uh, what is this one? The HT2000 GTX in white. Check that out. That's the sensitivity. I know you did a custom like this. It's pretty dope. I guess this was the inspiration for it. Really sick. It's there right there. And man, I've been scoring big with these ones. This is like my sixth one. I know I sent out one out to James Shear, had one for a buddy of mine. I got two more for myself, one loose, one cracked. Now this is like my fifth, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it might even be my sixth. But anyways, you can never have too many of these. This is the premier uh, Nissan Skyline. And uh, man, for a buck, you cannot pass that up, you know? And then my final three, which I'm going to consider grails because they're just, just freaking awesome. I don't know what to tell you, but I'll start off with one I already had, but this is my third one. And it will also be available for trade, just like the um, the van. It's the uh, Back to the Future time machine. And I guess it's a Canadian thing, but I know the American cards, they have the Back to the Future logo here. Um, our Canadian cards don't have it, but it's the same car. So it's Back to the Future. Time Machine just doesn't have the logo. So that's pretty cool if you like card variations or anything like that. And finally got it. Finally got the mainline Ecto-1. For five bucks, I couldn't give it up, man. I've seen it for $10, $15 online. Swap meets, they go for about 15 bucks as well. So this bad boy is finally here. I have it now as a mainline. I have the 118 skill. And I have the... Um, the retro entertainment. Uh, I know they have the Snowflake card and a couple of Johnny Lightning. So um, I'm happy with these. I definitely want to get some more if I can get a good deal on them. I, I won't overpay for them. But uh, if I find them like that, that's cool. And this last one, uh, you know, it's one of the last ones I saw. And it just blew my mind. I had to get it. And I'll tell you right now, lighting's a bit dark. I'm trying to get extra lighting here to show you guys. The lighting will not do this one justice. It's just an absolutely fantastic looking car. And uh, it's Johnny Lightning. And it's an 84 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am in chrome. Check that out. Like I said, the lights will not do it justice. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so tempted, so tempted to crack it open. I crack almost all of my Johnny Lightnings. But this one... I don't know, man. I just can't bring myself to it. It's so highly detailed. I might even ruin it with my fingerprints if I open it. But damn, this thing is so sweet. So there you guys have it. Another epic, epic haul, man. This is some this is some crazy stuff, man. Um, to get all these Skylines, to get a friggin' Ecto-1, Time Machine, friggin', um, you know, 57 T-Hunt. Even though it wasn't a super, like, Damn, like all in one haul. So uh, that's it, guys. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, probably going to take a little break from, from shopping. I actually do have one more potential buy that I'm making on Saturday of another dude that's selling a collection. So if that deal goes through, uh, which is also another fantastic deal for 20 bucks, I'll do another video for you guys to see. So hope you guys have enjoyed. Hit like, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.